Hi there. So in this video, we are going to take a look at for each loop in VB.NET. So the first thing, open Visual Studio. And the next thing is to create VB.NET console application. Now you have this empty project such as this. And inside main subroutine, I want you to create one integer array. So let's name it then integer data and then as integer. Now you can add some content within curly brackets. Let's say two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Okay, now what we're gonna do is with the help of for each loop, we are going to output the content from this in data array. Okay, so let's use for each and then item in integer data. We are going to simply use console dot right line. Okay, notice that when you just hit enter after in data, it will automatically add this next keyword. Now inside console right line, you have to simply add your item okay now what it will do is with each iteration this item variable will hold the value within this array so first it will be two and then it will output two and then four then six then eight ten and twelve okay now let's see this in our console so before that just type in console dot read okay now what this will do is it will simply hold the console while it brings that output on screen so let's run this and check out how it works now as you can see my console has this output of 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 for every value within my integer array it is outputting that with this item variable okay so the flow is something like we created first integer array you can create character array if you want then with for each keyword we have created another variable to access our integer array and then that variable will output with each item taken from that array so most of the time array and collections will make use of for each variable and then at the end we are going to use next to keep the loop going so this was a short video on how to use for each loop in pb.net